Hey guys, today I want to give a quick demo of something I've been working on called PyLight. This is a simple piece of software designed to power strings of LED lights using a Raspberry Pi. And for those who don't know, a Raspberry Pi is just an inexpensive kind of microcontroller style device that you can actually uh, use like a full-blown computer. So I'll show what the lights look like in a minute, but first let's take a look at the user interface here. Um, and first I just want to say that I'm making improvements to this all the time, so it may look a little different in later versions, but uh, the concept should still kind of be the same. So at the top here we have a bunch of controls to start and stop the lights and so on, and then below that we have a view of the individual LEDs, so these kind of squares here. Um, using the tools I can kind of paint onto the lights in any color that I like, so we have a color picker here. Um, so I can just pick a color and hit fill, or there's also these kind of paintbrush tools, solid or smooth. Um, you can set a radius, opacity, um, Let's pick a new color, and then you just click on any LED to kind of paint that LED. Um, and then below that we have a bunch of things called transforms. So these modify the lights in some way. You can uh, animate the lights or just perform a simple change like uh, brightness. Um, so if we add a transform, uh, let's say uh, rotate hue, uh, then nothing seems to happen on the screen. Um, but uh, if you're if you're in my bedroom, you would see that my lights have actually started moving. Um, so if we want to see what the animations look like in the browser, we can just hit the preview button here, and that kind of loads a 10 second preview, so you can see the lights changing color now. Um, transforms have a bunch of parameters that you can edit by hand. Um, to give a more exciting example, here's uh, burst. So we can see burst rate, burst length, burst radius, and so on. Um, so you can edit these parameters by hand, uh, just use the default values as kind of an example. Um, if you make a mistake, then it's just going to revert to the default settings. Uh, and finally, we can save all of these transforms for later if we give it a name and hit save, um, or load in some save values, so I have a bunch here already. Um, and I'll leave it up to you to explore all of these options yourself, uh, but for now, let's see it in action. Okay, so here we have the uh, PyLite interface loaded up on my phone. As you can see, I'm on my disk light setting. This is usually what my lights are on. It's just a plain kind of yellow light. Um, <clears throat> let's load in some other stuff here. So uh, let's see. One of my favorites is probably Rainbow Burst. <laughs> These are just made up. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of delay. Not too bad. Uh, and then it starts animating. Ooh, very pretty. Uh, then I have... Um, my poorly named party mode, <laughs> which just uh, flashes lights kind of quickly like this. Kind of cool. Um, and then Christmas. So these aren't very creative. Obviously you can come up with some um, interesting stuff of your own, but these are just ones that I've put together. Um, and I have a bunch of kind of desk light settings. So there's my regular one. And then I can put it on like a, a dimmed mode. Uh, for later at night. <clears throat> I even have like a nightlight version which is just really really dim. Uh, barely lights up my room. But yeah, as you can see it's it's all pretty uh, straightforward to, to use. <clears throat> Everything you can do on the desktop you can do on the phone. No worries there. So um, I could apply, oh, let's say I could get rid of the burst effect on this, this setting um, and you'll see it just goes to a steady light. Uh, or I could add a flash effect and it starts flashing all kinds of stuff so there you have it uh, check it out let me know if you like it uh, see you next time